welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Zach Littell. What do we have on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Luis Rangifo leading things off and takes a strike. And this is inside. It's a good take. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. Swing and a miss. Strike one. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. And the righty deals. Good eye right there. One out, base is empty. Now a screamer into the outfield. Palacios makes a nice grab at a full sprint. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup hey. will follow. Mike Trout in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike. Two out space is empty. Up ball. and in and it's one and one. One ball one strike. And yep. the slider just misses. Two down, nobody on. Slice down the right side. Two, two down. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a payoff pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. His second homer of this series, it's one nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat.
Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. And now Taylor Ward. That's in there. Strike one. Right-hander deals. Wouldn't That's chase that time. And a ball in two strikes. That one almost got him. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Up the middle, me. Fires to first on the run. Oh. On the money, nice play. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. Today's starting pitcher, Tyler Anderson. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters and guessing, and all of his stuff way. seems to be coming out of the same the arm base. slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first, and now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Way high there, and that is ball one. Swung on, belted. Adele reaching back towards the wall. Caught just shy of the wall. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And, Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, oh, which one. no one wants to be a part of. One down, base is empty. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. place is rocking and we're all square it's 1-1 two pitches two swings that one for a home run looking to be aggressive all the way and it paid off for him in a big way Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Now up for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. And a foul ball left side. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 0 1. That's a little bit low. Next pitch is outside. Anderson ready to work. That one down the line and foul ball. 
tied up here in the early going. In the air right field. Has a beat on it. He's got it. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite that barrel it up enough to really drive it. Isaac Paredes now. Just missed. And downstairs. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even now at 1 1. Back after this on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay, second inning set to go. So in now for the Angels, Miguel Sano. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. The next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Righty delivers. That's, oh, that's inside. Awesome. Three balls, no strikes. See if he gives him anything to hit here. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Brandon Drury to the plate. And that one fouled off. There's a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pick. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. The 0-2. Way to lay off that Two pitch three. down. At the belt and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
move. If you can set up a good two-strike spitter with a fastball on the previous pitch, it's going to be so tough to recognize and adjust your swing to get a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. Here's Joe Adele. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And he takes one right out of the black. It's 0-1. Man at first, one away. Hey. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strike. That oh. misses the zone. Going to count one and two. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. A one, two. Fights it off. He'll see another. And a one two popped up. He's under it. He's got it. Two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Two outs. And that misses off the outside edge. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one missing low. Line to left. He's got it. And that is out number three. Angels lead one. Score remains tied 1-1. the second and now it's going to be Curtis Mead the pitch off nope. the mark there ball one that one drilled left field that's back there hits the top of the wall and that's a leadoff double couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's the third baseman, Austin Shenton. Line drive, come on! It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Good eye in that spot. And fouled off. Go ahead run at second. Bottom half of inning number two. Stays alive. Man at second. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. And the runner holds. And now it's Jose Siri. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one's in there. 0 one, one. Man on second, two down. High fly ball out of the left center field. Hauls it in to end the inning. One left for Tampa. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at Tropicana Field. All set for the start of the inning. And now the shortstop, Zach Neto. And a pitch. And there's the strike. I think he was sitting off speed there. 0 and 1. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. The 0 2. At the bender for the strikeout. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at bat going. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. That's in there. And that is strike one. One down, base is empty. That one at 95 missed up top. Now one and two. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special oh, things with it. Moniak batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Not close with that one. And one and one. The one one is fouled off. Two 
Two down, nobody on. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. That one ripped. That's down, one hops off the wall. The Rosarena gets it in. Go ahead, run into scoring position as he stops at second. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's Trout. He's already homered in this game. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Two outs. And now two and nothing. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And he deals. Bounce to the left side. Shenton on the run. Throw to first. Close play, but in there. That's why you run hard 90 feet. Take nothing for granted, especially when you've got great speed. I'll take the infield knock. So two outs with runners on the corners. Taylor Ward, the next to hit, grounded out his first time. Just missed. Right through there for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. With the go-ahead run at third, we're here in the top half of inning number three. That Air one missed. Through. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. And another ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Miguel Sano on deck for the Angels. Back to work. 3 2 now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Three and two now. And they're all loaded up. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here's Miguel Sano. One for one with a single so far. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. In the air to left center. The Rosarena moving under it. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. Angels threaten but leave them loaded. Still tied. 1-1. Here's the catcher, Ben Wurtvet. 
You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Swings through that one for strike one. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Diaz at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. That misses. Two and two. All tied up here in the last half of the third. In the air, right field, under it. And there's two down. The back, the left field. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. He's already homered here in this one. the corner for a strike and it's a one one good oh, eye right there the one one is fouled off Got him. And it's a three up, three down in it. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We have three complete. We're tied at one apiece. Start of the fourth. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Drury. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Littell back to work. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. Action in the pen down there. Number 42, warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Armstrong also getting ready. Slides for the stop. Gathers and throws, and they get the out. You expect to see shortstops make great plays, and it's especially important in a big moment like that. Nicely done. And now the center fielder, Joe Adele. Right through there for a strike. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. The 0-1. Ball one there. Lifted in the air, right field. Gets under it. He's got it. There's two away. Yeah, 
Time. Next to hit, Matt Theis. 0 for 1 so far. Foul ball there. The line to kick the pitch. That one misses. And the count one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Angels go down one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the fourth, tied one, one. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the right fielder, Richie Palacios. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Got the corner for a strike. It's 0 and 1. That one missing inside. The wind of the pitch. And the count 1 and 2. The lefty fires. Fouls it off, still one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And here it comes. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. Got him looking. And now one away. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. It really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. It's a ball. That's how they take the lead. It's 2-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Nope, Stepping in, Curtis Mead. offering upstairs Anderson maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run Chris yeah it seems that way you know pitchers they can come out feel good but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and they start Ball trying break. to throw instead of pitch they're not trusting their stuff one out base is empty and a run in we're here in the bottom of the fourth hey. that catches the top part of the zone and now three and one And that one pulled foul. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. Payoff pitch. 
Bounced out to short. Neto. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. The back, the third baseman. Austin. One gone runner at first. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Shenton. He's 0 for 1. That's a strike. 0 and 1. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes. Flips it. Ring Hifo. Toss to second. And that's two. Now the Rays get one on a solo shot. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Pete Fairbanks. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now, Zach Neto went down on strikes his first time through. Here comes a pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fought off foul. And the pitch. Not even close there. And the count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. That's in there. One down, base is empty. One and one. That one drifts inside. And that's outside. And that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1. Nice. And there's a strike in the outside corner. Three balls, two strikes. A one-run lead. And we're at the top of the fifth. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Angels down to their final out. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. One for two. And that one wrapped foul.
Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. The Halos down to their final strike. Got him, and that's the ball game. Kind of a strange win, only three hits, so they definitely weren't firing on all cylinders there. Great pitching, really kept them in it and gave them a chance. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.